So let's talk about Euphoria. No, I'm not talking about this Euphoria. Let's talk about this Euphoria, the Kendrick diss that was just dropped in six minutes. It looks like it's completely divided the rap world in the worst way possible. First off, besides all the antics on social media, let's just talk about the record itself. Whether it's a worthy response to push-ups. I mean, with push-ups, I really do feel like it has that same replay value that the back-to-back -back record had. Definitely not Drake's best work, in my opinion. But I would say he gets some really good jabs in. Kendrick just went all out. What I love is that he didn't go for the low-hanging fruit. He could have put a Millie bar in there, but he chose not to. Instead, he goes for other accusations. Have you ever walked your enemy down like a poker face? Have you ever paid 500000 like an open case? The subject matter isn't necessarily anything new that we've heard. Rick Ross has done it, but his delivery is just different. This is how I really know Kendrick really beat Drake to the punch. I don't think all my life is rap. That's whole shit. I got sun to raise, but I see you know nothing about that. It's just a deep assassination of his character that really takes it home for me. How many more black features till you finally feel you're black enough? We get it. We have the jokes, the BBL Drizzy stuff. But this right here is a double entendre, y'all. Drake is not beating the hood safari allegations. Pop in, say hello to Jay Prince, then wake up the next morning, you're Jamaican. I think Nicki Minaj's Bigfoot really set a bad precedent. Because now motherfuckers are using replay value as a metric to measure how good this is. I mean, that's just a bad metric. You won't catch anybody listening to Ether in the club. But for many of us, we know that no Vaseline, Ether, Takeover, all these records have cultural significance for a reason. This right here was analysis. It was a thesis on Drizzy. For those that know, you know, you know what he's talking about. He literally has a Jay Prince dementia park his son verse. Like, he won. He, he fucking won at this point.